What's up everybody? My name is Lunchbox and today I'm going to finally release the first version of my new save called The Spire. First I'd like to give a big shout out to Oprize LP for creating the all-in-one Minecraft mod tool. It just keeps getting better. Check out the YouTube. You can download the mod tool there. Search for Oprize LP written just like this. And it's free. Uh, you can donate though. I will recommend that because you know it looks like a lot of work went into it start off a uh, little board here give you some general instruction what's this oh find out uh -huh. I got it in creative mode so I can show you but let me reassure you that it is in survival mode leaderboards are active so you've got a jail with some emergency supplies show you how it works real quick you take the uh, the convict put their items in here they can't have anything they'll get it back later tell them they gotta get in their cell take away their privileges to mess with blocks makes it even better after they serve their time flip the switch let them out they get to climb out close the door get their belongings back um, there's a special torture and a loop for the special torture. You'll have to download to find that out. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the machines. I'll run through them again real quick. There's a wool machine, a gold farm, an iron farm, or iron machine, and a leaderboard mob spawner. Everything but slimes, folks. And this is just to get rid of your unwanted items on. Okay. Upward. Got the door with your golden gate. Come in. There's a door lock here. If I can get to it. Now the pressure plates will not activate it. Nobody can come in. This lower button on the left will dispense two guards, two blazes, to guard your front door. They'll shoot fireballs at anyone who comes up. If you like to get rid of them, press the button on the right, and it will drop them down, and they will hopefully land in here with the cow. Back here is the black sand bog. It's got a little soul sand but the rest is very dark and very much full of evil mobs. <clears throat> so don't forget your first priority is to get the power on. Turn the generator on quick. You got some missions here, should you choose to accept them. So you come down here, you get the power on, you do it like this. Not exactly like this, but get some junk that you've collected from fighting mobs along the way, put it in the left side, press the button, and the generator will start working, turning the power on. I have a little noise generator down here for a little bit of realism. If you don't want the noise, just flip the switch, it'll shut off, turn it back on, but you can really only hear it down here. Okay, onward. Let's move our way up. I changed the arena just a little bit with uh, some limited supplies. You don't want it to be completely unfair now. Everything's stocked 100%, and it's ready. Spawn any one of these on the people down there. And just for those who hadn't seen the other video, um, this switch locks this door so you can't get in, and it also shuts this door, locking people in, making it perfect for 
launching, say, a blaze, a zombie, a magma cube, a skeleton, cave spider, a creeper, regular spider, a ghast, and maybe a giant zombie at him. One of the spiders didn't make it. It happens from time to time. And they will battle your friend or foe in the arena. Come up here. Remember there's the secret door under this block. I would recommend using this secret door with nothing in your hand. You can get messy, you can break it. So you've got all your farms, you're going to have to plant them. Harvest this with one of the special pickaxes upstairs. Melons. This is everything you can get from here. All the uh, tools for harvesting are provided. Pumpkins. Cocoa farm. Sugar cane. Wheat. This is a snow generator. Dig the corner. It works in creative, trust me. Dig the corner with a shovel and you'll get unlimited snow. Press this button. Um, use uh, one of the special items with looting on these guys and you'll get uh, lots of ender pearls. That wasn't intended. I have to fix that. Anyway, down here you've got eggs, storage for spawn eggs, iron golem, snow golem, giant zombie, they work if shot from a dispenser. Upward. Um, block generators, this is an obsidian generator. There must be redstone here. Take some redstone ore, harvest it with this, replace it every time. You'll get a mess. Trust me. Flip the switch. Lava is on. Shut it off. And harvest your obsidian. If you don't put redstone back, big mess. See? Put the redstone down. Over here is uh, one of my favorite things. I didn't invent this, but it's still cool. It's a block changer. What you want to do is put a block on the piston, put a redstone torch on top. I messed it up. It's not this for this one. Yes. Half slabs for this setting. Each setting is different. It all depends on where you place the water. So this one turns into this block, which you can't normally get in the game. If I were to put a block here, change the water to there, I take a bricks, a stone bricks block, it changes into a chiseled stone. It's great because you normally can't get these in survival, and it works in survival. I tested it out. Over here is a powered rail duplicator. It works. I also tested it. Flip the switch. Put the rail down on the red on the redstone block, and just as easy as that, one turns into five, eleven. I find that if I if I stand a bit further back and and let it do what it does just for a little while, I tend to get more but the actual amount does change from time to time and sometimes the rail bits can get stuck back there use that switch come back and get them over here I have a smooth stone cobblestone generator um, use the one with silk touch to get smooth stone use the one with unbreaking to get cobblestone turn it on, turn it off. Uh, you may need to hit the off button a couple times here and there. 
a sand gravel generator flip the switch it will duplicate sand and gravel what you have to do is make sure that these stacks are stacked up to the obsidian requires a little bit of reloading but it's not that big a deal and what I like to do is break these down as far as I can there needs to be at least one it seems to malfunction if there's two so you get at least one on either side and it should work fine generating sand or gravel depending on what you put in it if it happens to jam or stop flip the switch go refill I mean you basically did nothing for 43 pieces of sand it's great up here you have a potion section a little bit of each ingredient all the recipes personal portals enchanting station um, use the left trigger only to ride this elevator um, if it breaks uh, it's a pain if it breaks trust me so have nothing in your hand again I would recommend that and just make your way up get to this one look down hit it again you're in the bedroom master bedroom this is where the majority of all the modded items are <clears throat> there's a set of everything um, without looting or knockback then I have other sets with looting and knockback these are for harvesting the pigs and the cows there's some other good stuff in here, some stuff you can't normally get in the game. Down here we've got some storage of rare items. Uh, this is a little glitch here. Don't break these. It's actually a, a weird quad chest. Um, if you access either of the two middle blocks, you'll get this one and a half size chest here. And just to show you kind of how it works, take away four from here, four from here. You see how it just sort of shifts, uh, shifts down throughout the box. So it's it's all sort of connected. Um, these boxes are full of the special half slabs used to create the smooth complete smooth stone block demonstrate it here real quick these are otherwise unobtainable in the game so have fun with those these are empty so yeah just a bunch of stuff that you normally can't get um, all your special tools are going to be here you've got your squid tank one button on either side of the room they're all full they're waiting for you you can enjoy them use a ender pearl to get on top of the roof for a few more surprises um, I don't want to make the video too long but I would like to give a big shout out to my subs on YouTube and the fans of this garbage that I do here um, your comments your likes your support keeps me going sometimes I get bored doing this sometimes it's a lot of work and I don't want to continue doing it and when I see how much you're enjoying the maps and how fun it is and all that stuff it, uh, it motivates me to do more so uh, if you like the map, if you like the video, hit that like button. Um, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Lunchbox. Stick around because I'm not done yet.